Thank you for joining us for an audio podcast of one of our high school students who has attended a 10-day summer medical program through Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland. Farrah Ritter is a junior here at Chatham Charter. Farrah, we wanted to follow up with you after your 10-day experience and learn more about what you experienced and what you came away with that will be supportive of you in the future as you're interested in going into the medical field. From June 18th to the 27th, I attended a National Youth Leadership Forum at Johns Hopkins University. This was honestly one of the best experiences I've had so far, and I would go back in a heartbeat. I loved every single second from the doctor visits to the hospital visits to the clinical encounters. One of my favorite things was meeting new friends at this camp. I met so many new people that I still am in touch with, and I can't wait to keep talking to them and make more friends as I continue. I was really worried at first when I went, like I wouldn't make any friends or not click with anybody, but that was absolutely not true at all because I left with so many new friends. I got out of this program with an open mind towards the medical field because at first when I went in, I had no clue what I wanted to do. I just knew I wanted to be some sort of medical doctor or nurse or something like that. But now that I've been to this university and seen different roles in the medical field, such as doctors or nurses, and I've talked to medical students that are in their third or fourth year, I think I've realized that I want to be a nurse practitioner. As we talk to people that are in med school, I realize that I don't know if I want to spend seven hours a day studying every day. So I decided to be a nurse practitioner because I want to work with pediatrics and help children, and that would be really great for me. I got to meet some really cool doctors that are world-renowned, and I got to learn what they do. We learned about neuroethics and things that are coming up abroad and different things like that. We also got to learn about new technologies that are advancing in the medical field. We got to learn about medicine over the TV, which is known as telemedicine, which will be a new field that's coming up, so it'll be pretty big by the time I'm in school. We also got to learn from different doctors about a clinical encounter, which we got to do on the second to last day. We got to go and have a fake patient, which was an actor, that portrayed the role of an actual patient. And we found out that the only time we would get to do this again would be our third year of medical school. Those are the only people who get to do that. So it was a really big honor to get to do that. We went in to our clinical encounter and we had a patient that was overweight and complained of a cough, but eventually diagnosed that patient with a heart disease. So it was really cool to have your own patient and be able to work with them. I also got to do some more clinical experiences. One day we went to the Maryland School of Medicine where I got to do stitches on a banana and learn how to do sutures. It was so cool. And then we got to learn how to take blood pressure and a pulse. We got to do this on our fellow peers, so we all got to practice on each other. And we also learned how to do a head-to-toe patient assessment. This will be really helpful for the future now that we already have an understanding of a clinical encounter. We also got to do some pretty cool hospital tours. One of my favorites was the Shock Trauma Center in Maryland. This is the number one trauma center and has the helicopter that flies in. We also got to tour the helipad on the roof. It was amazing. I was so excited. We got to walk around the hospital and see different patients, and we also got to hear from a patient that was affected by drunk driving that day, and they taught us a course on how to drink responsibly if you do drink. It really opened our eyes to drunk driving or even texting while driving, so it was really helpful to me. One of the cool things that we started on the very first night was an epidemic breakout trial. We were assigned into groups of five, and my group, we were completely opposites. Two of the people were from Colorado, one was from Texas, and one was from Tennessee. We all came together, and by the end of the week, those people were my absolute best friends. I still talk to every single one of them today, and I loved hearing what they were interested in. And we all got to work together as a team on the epidemic breakout and just see how we could diagnose this and how to work together and each communicate efficiently. One of the other things we did as a group was a public awareness campaign. We were given the option to split up into different groups instead of our epidemic breakout groups. But my group, we were like, no, we are not splitting up. And we stayed together the rest of the week and worked together, which was really cool for me. Overall, at this medical camp, it helped me in so many different ways. Working in a team, being a leader, and it also helped me to see what I wanted to do with my future. And I'm so thankful, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. There, this is fantastic. 
you can hear the excitement in your voice as you talk about it. And I do want to mention you're an exceptionally good student. So for you to come back and say medical school would be more than I would want to take as a course of study for myself really is something that is not being lazy at all. It's something to realize this is what works for your life. The other thing I want to make sure that you get to mention is you talked about your groups you were in, but mention the fact of the number of people that were there attending this program and how your group ranked when you finished both of your projects. My group for the epidemic breakout worked together to diagnose what was going on in the situation. The next day, we had to give a presentation on this. We were scored on a rubric by our counselors and the overall counselor. My group actually ended up finishing first for the epidemic breakout on the presentation, which was really exciting because there were over 400 people at this camp. To finish first in a group of five was really cool. Then we decided to go into the public awareness campaign together because we didn't want to split up. So we worked on our public awareness campaign where we campaigned against alcohol abuse and we gave a 10-minute presentation along with a drunk driving video. We had to give a five-minute presentation about our campaign, and we ended up coming second out of 400 people at this camp, which was really exciting for us. Thank you, Farrah Ritter, Jr. here at Chatham Charter, for joining us and recapping your summer experience in Maryland at Johns Hopkins University.